Hey there, Kate Monroe, CEO of Vetcom, and I wanted to do a little review of what is a CMP exam, why is it so important, and what is the best way to go and win. So what is it? Well, a CMP exam is a comp and pension exam. What happens is you will make a claim to the VA, whether you do it yourself, whether somebody like us does it, whether a VSO does it, at some point, a third party organization is going to reach out and examine you. It's very important that you go to this exam. There's no reason to miss it. You need to be very diligent about going. So what is the exam supposed to cover? Well, let's say it's mental health. You're gonna go see a mental health practitioner who is not your friend, who is not your therapist. This person is gonna to try to trap you in talking about things that happened in your childhood. They're gonna to try to trap you in talking about divorces or other horrible things. It's your job to confine it to what happened to you in the military and about how you feel now. Let's say it's orthopedics. They don't care that much about your pain. They really care about your loss of flexion. And loss of flexion is found in your hinge points. What are your hinge points? Well, your shoulder's a hinge, your elbow, your wrist, your neck, your back, your knees, your ankles. They're gonna test these through various different ways, but the bottom line, the more you can flex that joint or muscle group, the less you will get paid. That's what a CMP exam is. They're going to examine you to decide what criteria, if they're gonna give you 10, 20, 30, 50, 100, and how much they're gonna pay you for each of those things. Now, why do they do it? I mean, the good news for you is you used to have to go to the VA. And I don't think that was really good for us vets because sometimes veterans end up going to work at the VA. And sometimes veterans, kind of like they were on active duty and they're like, oh, pour some Robitussin on it or dirt it off, you're fine, oh, you didn't serve in combat. They wanna judge you more than the civilian doctors would. So when we made this move to go to the third party organizations, I actually think it's benefited us as veterans when we are trying to go through the CMP exam process. Finally, in order to win, you need to be prepared. Preparation is key. So if you're going to say a mental health exam, you don't wanna to go to this mental health exam unprepared, meaning you're not gonna be able to show them your worst day, your saddest day, your most anxious day on the best day of your life. So how do you get your mind prepared to go and be vulnerable? Well, I always recommend that people listen to a sad song as they're driving there to get yourself into the right emotional space to be true with that provider about how you actually feel and how it actually affects you. If you're gonna go for orthopedics, well, you're not gonna win if you run in there looking like you just ran a triathlon. If you're a buff person, a lot of us veterans, we like to work out because the endorphins make us feel good. It's purposeful for our life, but we don't wanna go show them that we're buffed out, right? You need to dress very plain and very ordinary. The thing is, you guys gotta keep in mind that it's not so much about who makes your claim right? The making of the claim, while we feel like we do the best at it because we make it in a very mindful order, we just don't, you know, fire all the rounds at the gun at the same time. We think we do that part the best. The thing is, after your claim's made, what happens next? The CMP exam prep part, the preparation is you win or you lose. See, with a company like Vetcom, we're going to prepare you for every single exam and provide you with a platform of videos you can watch right up to the last second before you walk in because we want to make sure that you go in there and prevail because with us you're going to win on round one with many others you're going to have to face a denial and go to a higher level review and do all this nonsense that if you just did it right the first time you wouldn't have to do it so i would recommend to you that you work with an organization like vetcom if you want a hassle-free fast path to getting rated for the highest percentage in the least amount of time hope this was helpful